Move with confidence to the Burnside Croft Development by Peterkin Homes in picturesque Drumlithy, just south of Stonehaven. Eight luxury detached family homes with garden, internal garage and prices starting from just £276,000. The show home is now open by appointment. Move up to high quality and outstanding value for money from Peterkin Homes. Three times Scottish winner of the Federation of Master Builders Regional Award, New Homes category. Go on. Click on peterkinhomes.co.uk and move with confidence. To begin at the beginning. It is spring. Moonless night in the small town. Starless and Bible black. The cobble streets silent in the hunched quarters and rabbits wood limping invisible down to the slow black, slow black, crow black fish boat bobbing sea. The houses are blind as moles, the moles see fine tonight in the snouting velvet dingles, or blind as Captain Cat there in the muffled middle by the pump and the town clock. My heart's in the highlands, my heart is not here. My heart's in the highlands are chasing the deer, chasing the wild deer and following the roe. My heart's in the highlands wherever I go. Farewell to the highlands, farewell to the north, the birthplace of valour, the country of worth. I command you to bow before me, you pathetic mortals. This world you call home is now my territory. You'll be held against your will and forced to be my slaves for the rest of your miserable lives. <laughs> You mortals are nothing more than my playthings now. Well, well, well. There's over a hundred of them, and only twenty of us. Exhausted, hungry, severely lacking in weapons, and a lake of treacherous ice between us. And yet, I still kind of like those odds. Come on! Darkness. Pit black, impenetrable nothing. PC Hazel Garvey squeezes her eyelids tight and reopens. Still total blackout. She blinks again and again, hoping for some kind of adjustment or definition to emerge. She tries to call out, but there's something rammed inside her mouth, blocking the escape route for her scream. Instinctively, she reaches to grab at the obstruction but her hands are locked, restrained somewhere behind and beneath her. She is prostrate, her legs folded in and knees pushed up against an invisible object. She twists her body to try and free her wrists, but the bonds tighten, forcing her clenched fists to bury deeper into the base of her spine.